The 322 patch came to EPTU last night for Wave 1 testers and with it came a whole range of exciting changes to the salvage profession in the game. Both the Vulture and Reclaimer have had some radical changes and additions. And on the very first night of the patch I wanted to head out and take a look at the Vulture. There are two really important new features that will improve salvaging so much when this hits live. A new salvage buffer in the filler station that allows 14 SCU of internal storage before you need to head on down to start ejecting boxes. That's right, no more running back and forth every couple of minutes. You can now fill the entire cargo bay before you even need to go down to eject the box and the addition of hole munching, which the Vulture can also perform and I was excited to go and see. I was going to be joined by Bailerman 2 as I set out to take on some small salvage contracts. Yeah, that'll be interesting. The first salvage claim was an Origin 100i at Hurston L2 Lagrange Cloud. There is a 100i here, which is the, the salvage target. We can just do the regular salvage thing. Although this ship is tiny, my god. Yeah, you probably could just salvage it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think I think of well, yeah, because damn. In the live build. As you can see from the lower right of the HUD, the filler station now has 14 SCU of capacity. You can now hold 14 SCU. Oh, of salvage shit. so like you don't need to keep getting up and going down oh that's amazing but i was really mostly eager to break the ship down and recover the structural components so got our one sc of salvage and now we go to the new fracturing mode the vulture has two new modes of operation and first we'd be using fracturing mode aim at the ship there Okay, no, so that's breaking into these components. Oh, I see. I can grab this with the track beam. Stop it floating away. Disintegration mode would come next, and this is where we collect the material from the component. And then, if we go to disintegration mode, I think it's called. Yeah. Disintegration mode pulls in an all new resource construction materials. Okay, this is good. This feels quite magic. -y, Look at that, like we've got up to 3.1 SCU already. It was time to go and eject our boxes. Let's go to the cargo be now. Do I need to make a track room? I do. But that's the beauty of these salvage ships is that they they can literally make all the stuff you need. But you can see here now we've got 2.12 of 14 SDU. I know it's a game changer, right? Multi-tool. Well normally it no longer takes up like a whole SCU of make a multi-tool yeah it's gone down to 0.15 oh wow yeah, yeah it's two, and to be right. fair that makes more sense right because an entire goddamn like cubic <laughs> meter of material <laughs> <laughs> into one little gun just under an scu on rmc oh. but i've got construction materials that i can eject and you can just eject them at your leisure yeah as Bailerman was heading in to meet with me, I was heading for another salvage job, this time around Art Corp L2. The wreck was a vanguard. Sorry, say again. I'm gonna get there and you're gonna be done. Well, I'll wait for you to arrive. That's no, alright. Might as well start scripting. Sure, yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so satisfying. I know. Salvaging is like re relaxing but also kind of like really fun. Yeah. It's like just mentally stim stimulating. Yes. I feel like the changes to like the uh, the filler station are going is going to um, like resolve a lot of people's because a, a lot of people's big um, complaint with salvaging has been uh, getting up constantly, you know, kind of having to go down after every two boxes. And... No, I have sort of like having only gone through 14 boxes is amazing. Okay, well, I mean, if you want to break it up, uh, that, that'd be cool. It's Alt plus W to switch mode. There you go, look at that. Oh, wow. Uh, yep, up, up it goes. It's pretty interesting how the wings just have the effect kind of in the middle. <laughs> Some of the pieces uh, bumped out a little bit, but um, you press um, the white mouse button to switch to the, um, the other oh, mode. Oh, I see. And then we can go up and... Oh, wow. Oh, that's, okay, that's pretty interesting. That is actually really satisfying. Okay, I'm at, I'm I'm full. I'm at 14. I am completely full. Oh, I see. It was time to go and eject our boxes. How much materials did you um grab? Uh, I got 10. All I did was one of the like engine pieces in a wing. There's another piece oh. here below below my ship. There's another piece. Oh, I see. I'm screw that up there. Oh, yeah, I see it. <laughs> okay. I'm curious how much the um that material sells for the new material uh the composite the construction material yes, yes. it'd surely be less right yeah, I the material on the outside the outside's gonna you know do more run would be my logic yeah. I didn't know this yet, but you can set the station to auto eject the boxes, and this makes the process very smooth. So cool to see like the, the cargo bay fill up in like one go, you know, like kind of. It's, yeah. it's so much, so much better. I think that's all of the boxes ejected. So, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go and sell and see what we get. So we were heading back to our corp to sell off our salvage. But I was in for a moment of confusion at the trade terminal. So we've got um, eight SU of construction materials, which uh, they can't you can't sell here. You can't sell them here. 
It turns out that construction materials need to be sold at an admin terminal, not a trade terminal. So in Art Corp, that would be the North Plaza lobby. Unfortunately, there was no demand for the construction material here at Area 18, but I could see that the price was a very attractive 12.5k per SCU. I can really see the changes to the Vulture making a lot of people very happy. One of the biggest complaints that we see about the Vulture is the need to return to the cargo bay every two boxes to eject them. This new change fixes that immediately and the way that hole munching rapidly fills your filler station means that salvage will go from being somewhat underpaid to a competitive profession in the game now. I am very excited to explore this further. In the next video though we'll be taking a look at the Reclaimer and there have been some very interesting changes going on here. From the first iteration of the Claw, to some giant filler stations now occupying the salvage deck. How will it feel to crew this vessel now? Join us next time to find out. I am very pleased to announce the winner of our Crusader C1 giveaway with the comment that you see on screen right now, Skooma Nark is our winner. Congratulations to you Skooma and as always a huge thank you to CIG for sending such awesome prizes our way. As always, I want to thank all of you at home for watching this video and all of our amazing patrons who you can see on screen right now. These very generous people are the reason that we can put out videos several times a week and I just want to thank each and every one of you for supporting the channel and helping me keep things going. Thank you. And in this video, I would especially like to thank Zeus531 and Mark Weber, who both recently became backers of the channel. Thank you both for your support. That is enormously helpful and I appreciate it so much. Thank you. We'll be back with more from the 322 PTU very soon.